Hey YouTube, it's your girl Kim, back with another video. Um, <clears throat> in today's video, I'm sure you guys can tell by the title, and I know I mentioned it in my filming day vlog um, that I was going to be telling you guys about a frontal that I got that I didn't have a great experience with. You guys know I feel like I've been on this like whole like wig making kick. So you guys know the hair that's on my head. It's a wig that I made using Juicy Hair Affairs, bundles, and a frontal. I normally don't like talking about other hair companies when I'm talking about one particular, but I feel as though it's relevant. I'm going to get to that. I dismantled the wig that I had with the Juicy Hair Affair bundles because, again, I told you guys I wanted something with a little bit more flexibility. I picked up this frontal from Honey Hair Co., the first one. The... The hairs were a little bit lighter on one side. You guys saw that video. I'm going to link it down below. Um, so I reached out to them. You know, I was just going to do a straight refund, but I was like, you know, for the price that I paid, what I got, the hair actually felt nice. Let me just exchange it. Finally, about a month later, because, you know, there is a lace shortage, I finally got the frontal. I unboxed that for you guys on my channel. I was excited. I actually started making the wig. Like, this was sewn to, like, the, the wig cap. Um, I'm gonna insert that video in here somewhere. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it like up in the corner or like in the timeline for the actual video. <clears throat> but I actually sewed this on and took it off. This frontal, it was like this after I took it out of a bag yesterday. So I'm like, you know what, let me give it the benefit of the doubt, even though I've never had that problem. So I wet it, brushed it out. <clears throat> All I did was pin it to start making the wig and I brushed it out. And then when I was done, like you guys saw me, I had it rolled up in like a little bun with the clip. I'm like, why is it matted? Like it's so badly matted at the roots. Like I don't, I've never, like in all the years, cheap hair, good hair, AliExpress, I've never had this happen. So I'm going to co-wash this and come back to you guys again tomorrow. It's actually holding up progress for me in my whole wig making stuff because I, I'm not going to finish this wig if this frontal is like this. I'm going to send it back and get my money back. But, like, look at this. Like, this is a hot matted mess. Like, I don't want to take time. You guys know it takes me, like, five hours to make a wig. I don't want to take five hours to make a wig and the frontal is looking like this and it's not even, like, on my We're head. We're going to get into why. We're also now going to get into why I mentioned this hair and the other hair that I had from Juicy Hair Affair with the 5x5 five five closure from Terry Styles. So I'll show you guys the bag. Now you guys know. I don't, I'm not going to hide how I carry my wigs or how I store my wigs, especially like my work where you guys have heard me talk about. I throw it in the back seat, pick it up, shake it out, good to go, right? So this bag, it actually still has the hair in it because you guys know I'm in between houses. So when I'm back and forth, because I don't want to like waste time, I take my stuff with me. So I have all my essentials in here to make my wigs, um, including like this little kit that has my scissors, the clips, the thread. I know it's a rant. I don't want to make this video too long, <clears throat> but let me get into why I said all that. So when I was making this wig, um, I put all the bundles in the bag and it wasn't even like all the bundles. You guys know I had it in a half up, half down. So in a half up, half down, I took it out, just threw it in there. It was like a ball of hair, brushed it out, no problems. The frontal was in there. The frontal wasn't even used. Took it out, no problems. So normally when I'm making a wig, I have a video on my channel. I can link that down below for you guys. I sew the frontal or the closure on first and then I will tie up the hair and usually roll it around in a little bun and clip it so that it's out of the way. So when I'm sewing the, the wefts or the tracks, however you guys want to call it, it's not in the way. <clears throat> Something I have always done, never had an issue with. So remember I said I was going to talk about all these other companies because it's relevant for this video. This is where it becomes relevant. Um, you'll see that in the video that I'm going to include in this, in this, this rant somewhere. So I did that same thing with this frontal. And I know you guys can see it. I tried to get the angle. Um, the roots tangled. Um, it, it was a little bit off-putting. Um, not something that I've... I don't think I've ever experienced. Like Even with like cheap AliExpress hair. Not trying to bash anybody. Not trying to down anybody. But like <clears throat> you can probably see it. So, well, you can see it. Keep in mind, 
I didn't use this. So when I went to make the wig, I took the frontal out and I'm like, the frontal's tangled. Like, why is the frontal tangled? And I was like, all right, well, let me give it the benefit of doubt. Maybe it's because I was carrying the bag. Now, mind you, I had this frontal in that same bag, didn't have that issue. So I gave it the benefit of doubt. I wet it, hung it to dry. So what I did was I pinned it to the wig cap, to the, the mannequin head that I used to sew my wigs on. Pinned it, let it hang dry. And then when I pinned it down to start to sew it, it seemed like it was fine. When I took it down, it was tangled. And I'll show you what I mean. So all I did with this frontal when I took it off is I brushed it out. I did a two strand twist like this, literally. Um, Cause I didn't have it pinned. So I just used just my hand to twirl it around so the hair wouldn't get tangled. And I put it on the counter here because I started to talk about it in that video. And I was like, you know what? This, this deserves its own video. So you can see, I, I, I've never had this happen. Like the hair, it's just, I really need you guys to see this. Like, I don't know how to like best get it, but like, you see like how it's like rolled up and like tangled, like the roots of the frontal are knotting. Like, I feel like I'm at like a loss for words. I don't even know how to describe it or explain it because I've never, like never had this happen ever. Like not with uh, making a wig with a frontal, with a closure, not with a cheap wig, not with nothing. Like I've never had this happen. So I was like, you know, telling myself, like I, I started to not feel comfortable finish making the wig. I'm like, you guys know, take I make my wigs by hand. It takes me five hours. I am... OCD, you guys will see my stitch work in the thing, in the, the video that I'm going to include. I sound frustrated and flustered. Sorry if I'm talking too fast. You guys know I'm Caribbean. And I'm like, I don't want to go from using a HD closure that I wasn't 100% happy with because in its natural form, because you guys know I love the Juicy Hair Fair bundles, and its natural texture form, that's what I meant. Um... I like it in its natural state because I love the way the hair looks like you can just wear it and it just gives you like this effortless look but the closure wouldn't wouldn't really match not in a bad way the closure was a virgin hair versus raw hair so for me because I'm OCD I saw the difference so I wanted to you know get something and I'm like you know if I'm gonna change it out um one I'm gonna get a frontal this way it's a little bit more versatile because I couldn't really wear the wig how I wanted to wear the wig so if I'm gonna take it down I'm gonna get a frontal and after sewing this, and you can see, see how it's matted and tangled at the roots? Like, I just don't get it. Like, after sewing it and this just being tangled after me just having it rolled up in a little bun and taking it out and it tangled like this, I'm like, I don't feel comfortable making the wig because if I make it, like, it takes me a while to make it. I don't want to waste my time and then waste my money and then be in a worse predicament than I was in before because I didn't have any issues with the Terry Styles 5x5 five five HD closure. It's just, it didn't match in its natural state. But once the hair was curled, it was fine. I'm just, I just wanted it to match. So I took it off. Um, I emailed them. They asked me to send them a picture. I'm going to try to send them a picture of this again. I told them it's kind of hard to see in a picture. It's easier for you to see it in a video, but... <clears throat> This tangling that you're seeing here is solely right now from me picking this up and putting it down. Picking it up and putting it down. That's it. So I'm like, if it's doing, and I know you guys can see it now, If it and you saw it when I first picked it up and showed you on camera, if it's doing this from that little bit of that, which is nothing, Imagine what it's going to look like when I actually sew it and wear it to my, like, and I'm never going to be able to wear this. So <clears throat> I'm frustrated because it's wasted so much of my time. Like when I started making this wig, I sewed the frontal on the night before the next day I finished the wig. doesn't take me long. Like I said, it takes me five hours. I break it up because, you know, you don't want to sit for five hours and make a wig by hand, but it's, it's wasting my time. I waited a month for the frontal. Um, I started to sew this frontal to the wig cap to start making the wig. 
And then I had to turn around and take it down. Now I have to send this back again. I'm not, I don't anticipate they're going to give me an issue with refunding it just because of how this process started. And like I said, their customer service is very nice, but I don't believe this is raw hair. I'm sorry. Um, after experiencing this at raw hair, that's been, I would call it over process. Probably not over process because the hair still is fine. Like I know I didn't damage this. Let's put that out there right now. But after doing all that I did to this hair and not getting that experience and doing absolutely nothing to this, like I wet it, it tangled. I was like, all right, let me, let me, let me co-wash it. Co-wash it. This is the co-wash. It tangled. So I'm sending that back. I want my money back. I can't believe that this is something that they are charging now. You guys remember the original price before my coupon that I found online was 180. Now it's at 280. This is not worth anything in my eyes because it's unwearable. Like, look at it. I know you guys can see like those tangles. Like, look, look at, uh. But that wraps up this video. Hopefully I'll probably just include it in a portion up top because it's this video is already longer than I want it to be and I'm not editing it. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.